cesarean scar ectopic pregnancy. Note that that the incidence is increasing. It might be to increase in rate of cesarean section or may due to increase of modality of diagnosis and increase recognition of this condition. Sure, it needs high suspicious for diagnosis. By definition, cesarean scar ectopic pregnancy, where the implantation occurs completely in area of cesarean scar and completely surrounded by myometrium and there is fibrous tissue separating it from the endometrial cavity. The ultrasonographic criteria for diagnosis should fulfill the following criteria. First, the uterine cavity or endometrial cavity should be empty. Also, the endocervical canal should be empty to differentiate it from cervical ectopic. Gestation sac in the anterior part of the isthmus, absence or a very thin, less than five millimeter of healthy myometrium separating the sac from the bladder. This is a picture of cesarean section ectopic. Notice that the empty endometrial cavity and empty cervical canal. Also, this is a picture of another lesion showing empty endometrium and empty cervical canal. And there is a fetal pole and a sac in the area of cesarean scar. This is a picture of MRI with the same criteria. This is a pregnancy and this is a bladder and this is cervix and uterine cavity. Types, there is two main types, type one endogenic, where gestation sac grow towards the cervicoismic or uterine cavity, and the prognosis is better. But the, another type is, has worse prognosis exogenic, where gestation sac grow towards the bladder, to, toward outside, carrying a greater risk of area rupture. And the management is more difficult than endogenic type. This is a picture of exogenic type. Notice that there is a bulge of the sac towards the cirrhosa and towards the bladder. Treatment option, either direct mystrixate option, hysteroscopic section is preferred than blind DNC. Abdominal resection, either through laparoscopy, which you preferred, or open. Transvaginal section needs special expertise, but less invasive than open surgery. And lastly, hysterectomy, we rarely resort to this option. Uh, another option is to leave the special endogenic type, to leave the pregnancy, to continue. And in certain trimester, most of cases, uh, there is placenta accreta. And this need good counseling of the patient and good consent uh, after approval of the patient. Thanks a lot.